Hey you guys, Misty with the K How Crew here. So I realized after I got home <clears throat> that I'd forgotten to shoot an intro or an outro for the video in Casa Grande at the Haunted Garage. So I figured I'll just go ahead and do it now. So I have actually gone through all of the audio and video. Um, while we didn't seem to catch anything on video, we did catch quite a bit of audio. So um, this video is going to be uh, some interviews with people that live in the house and some spirit box sessions that are going to blow you away. So sit back, enjoy, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Let's go! Vivian just got scratched. We literally like just got here. Somebody hold her shirt up. I'm trying to. She went to the bathroom, and you can see these scratch marks right here. We got our special investigators out here with us tonight. We got Carlito, we got Carol, we got Amy. There's Miss Vivian. Her teeth are already chattering. Where's Where's my better half at? There she is. Here's Marianne. <laughs> Kenny. Well, we've got Kenny here, and Kenny lives in Casa Grande, and so tell me a little bit about your experience here in the home. So I've had, I've run into a couple different things, and that's, uh, first one being... That's my alarm, you don't lie. Oh. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't so, I've had a couple experiences. First one being, um, stuff moving in the hallway here. Is, can you see the hallway? Mm-hmm. Okay. In the hallway here behind me. There, I've seen a couple things there, different shadows, move ones. Um, in the garage, there's been some noises. There's been, um, there's been some noises upstairs. Opened the door to the bedroom upstairs one day, and there was a little boy. A um, couple different things going on here. Okay. All right. And when was the last time you saw or heard something? It's probably been about, I'd say probably about two months. Okay. What was what was it that you saw or heard? I'm not sure. Well, what happened to you? Explain I went back to the bedroom. <laughs> well, where where were you? I, were you in the hallway? Coming out of the bedroom. Coming out of your yeah, room. Yeah, coming out of the bedroom. And what happened? The camera, it was like shadows coming around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Which room? Which room is yours? So back through the hallway straight okay. to the yeah, Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, thank you, sir. For the record, what is your name? Christy. All right, Christy. So tell us a little bit about what's going on out here in Casa Grande. Um, there's been numerous things happen. Um, not just since I've lived here. My mom lived here three years prior to me living here, and um, there were several things went on with an older gentleman being seen in the garage, um, door slamming. Um, Clothes hangers moving in the closet. You can hear him like going through the clothes, like he's looking for something to wear. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, things moved that I know were not um, in that particular place. I knew where I'd put it, and then come back 30 Find minutes later, else. and it's somewhere else. Okay. All right. When was the last time something happened to you? Um, about three weeks ago. Okay. What was it? I opened the garage. The boys are really bad about turning the, leaving the garage lights on. Okay. And I had just opened the garage door to make sure that the garage lights were off. And when I did, on the other side of the car, I could see like an outline from the moon shining mm -hmm. through the, the windows in the uh, garage door. Okay. And I just seen a dark outline. 
Okay. And were you standing like inside the house or were you outside or? I was right outside the laundry room door in the garage. Okay. All right. And you said that was about three weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. What is your name? My name is Jonah. All right, Jonah. So tell us a little bit about what you've seen and experienced here. Um, for the most part, I just like heard Christy talking about him and I was like, cool. So, you know, I started like watching for it. And there'd be some times where it just like feel really eerie, but like that's it. I feel like it's always like that when the house is dark and it's 3 a.m. you're doing laundry. But <coughs> so this one time I was like in the room jamming out to some music, and uh, I heard this scream come in from the headphones, and I was like, I listen to country music, so oh. it's not like random screams come in that much. Right. <laughs> were you listening to the radio, or were you listening to I was listening to my music. Or? I was listening to my Okay. Amazon music. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's so not normal. <laughs> so I'm hanging out, and uh, that scream comes in, and I'm looking around, I'm like, what the heck? That's not the part that made me feel weird about it, though. The part that made me feel weird was I heard that scream, and I immediately thought of that old man. Okay. And uh, yeah. I was like, it just he just came to mind, and I don't know why. And where's your room? Are you upstairs or downstairs? Right here. Right, right by okay, the garage. Okay, right by the garage. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. How long ago did that happen? Probably like four weeks ago. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully we're due for some action right. tonight. Yeah. Action. Thank you so much. For awesome. Thank you. No problem. I can't. I can't even hear it. Uh, initially, I thought it was our speaker, but maybe it's the no, phone itself. Are in this home? 
No? Okay, well I can't see you either. Not without special tools, usually. Who is it that they hear making noise out here in the garage? What's the name of the of the spirit that's making noise in the garage at night? Can you make a noise for me? Yeah? Well, make a noise for me. Scream? Can you scream? Can you scream through this device right here? I don't think you'll be able to. I think that you're kind of constrained by the app itself. You actually are, huh? Ooh, the volume just got louder, though. Are you trying to scream? You make the volume go up? Is that what you just did? Is there a heaven? Like, in the sense of the word that we believe in it. Like a, the pearly gates, you know, and the fancy place where all your relatives are. Yes? But earlier you guys said that there wasn't any heaven. So, well, we're trying to get answers about the afterlife. You know that you're dead? Yeah? Okay. What does it feel like to be dead? I mean, do you feel weightless? Are you able to fly? Wow, thank you. Whoever answered me, thank you. That was amazing. You came through so clear. Who was it that answered me? Ooh, I didn't quite catch that. Say that again a little bit louder for me. Who was it that had answered me? Are any of you veterans? Did any of you serve in the military? Any of the gentlemen? Did any of you serve in the in the armed forces? Well, if you did, I thank you for your service, and I'm a fellow veteran. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut this off now. Thank you so much. Uh, I might be back. I'm not sure yet.